welcome to week one of our bone of the week and health tip of the week. Really quickly for our review of what we learned last week, our bone of the week was in between our nose and our lip right in here, and the name of the bone was Maxilla. We remembered that because the first three letters in the words spell the name Max. Max is usually a boy's name, and when boys get older, they grow a mustache right on top of their Maxilla. So we remembered that Max has a mustache on his Maxilla. Now our bone of the week that we're learning this week is also on our skull. We've been talking a lot about our skull. We've learned parietal, occipital, temporal, frontal, maxilla, and then this week we are going to be talking about mandible. Your mandible is actually your jaw. Now when a lot of people think of their jaw, they think of just their cheeks, but that's not actually where your jaw is, and your jaw is actually a lot bigger than you think. So your jaw goes from right beside your ears all the way down to where your chin is, and it is just this lower part right here. If we didn't have our jaw, we wouldn't be able to talk. And of course, every week I have a crazy way to remember these bones and where they are and what they are. And so this week, the first three letters in our word spells man. And every man and every woman has to have a mandible to be able to talk. So that's how I remember our bone of the week for this week, which is mandible. Its nickname is our jaw. Now, for the last few weeks, we have also, for our health tip, been talking about our food guide pyramid. We learned that it is in the shape of a pyramid, and it is a guide to what kinds of foods we should be eating every single day. There's one, two, three, four, five, six parts to our food guide pyramid. The bigger the part is, the bigger the serving that we should be eating of that food every day combined in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we should be eating a lot more of this big group down here than of this small little triangle at the top. Now, so far, we've learned about grains that go down at the bottom. That's like cereal, rice, bread, pasta, things like that. We should be having six to 11 servings. Last week when you were in class, we talked about these two sections right here. That was our fruits and vegetables. We talked about what those were, how our bodies need vitamins and minerals but can't make them themselves. So we get them from the fruits and vegetables. And then we should be having two to three servings of fruits every day and two to five servings of vegetables every day. And my challenge to you is to eat at least one fruit or vegetable at every single meal that you eat during the day. Now, the group that we are talking about today is this group that I have highlighted right here, and that is protein. Now, when people think of protein, they mostly think of meat. So they think of just like chicken and steak and beef and ham and fish and things like that. Now, protein is important because it's, you, it's basically the building block of our bones, muscles, cartilage, skin, and blood, and then it's important to repair our body. So if we're exercising a lot and we're making our muscles bigger, we need that protein to repair them so we're able to go again the next day. Now, some people say, well, I'm a vegetarian and I don't eat meat. How am I supposed to get my protein? Where there are other things that include protein as well. Beans include protein as well as nuts like peanuts, almonds, cashews. And then some people that don't eat meat still eat fish. And fish also has a lot of protein as well. Now, our recommended servings of protein that we should be having every day is two to three servings. So we should be having some sort of protein at every single meal just because that is the building block of a lot of things in our bodies and it's very important to keep us healthy, especially for you right now to keep you growing because you are going to be growing a lot over the next few years and you need that protein to continue to help your body grow. So this week's um, health tip was protein. This week's bone of the week was mandible. Every woman and every man has a mandible to help them talk, which is our jawbone. And I will see you next week at the beginning of the week for next week's bone of the week and health tip of the week. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you Friday on our Friday Fun Day. I forgot to mention that I will be linking videos below in the caption section that you can click on those links and it's other YouTube videos that are kid friendly that you can do at home to get some of that activity or exercise in every day so you can get to those 60 minutes while you are not in school. See you later.